Delia, could you quit yakking for one minute and give me a hand here? Could you just wait one minute, please? Lizzie, look at me. This could be the most important afternoon of your life. We're only buying the engagement ring. Exactly. See, once you have a diamond ring, there's no turning back. Yeah, because uh, you know what I read somewhere? You can only get back half of what you invested in a diamond. Now, would you come here and tell me if this dress would, would look good on Would you please wait a minute? Is that true? Lizzie, that's not your concern. Let John me worry about what you have to concentrate on is the three C's. What is that? Color, cut, and carrot, and you want a lot of all three. Absolutely. When all else fails, go for big. We can't afford big. I'd be happy with a brass ring on my finger as long as John Reed gave it to me. Lizzie, you're not thinking about this right. This is a serious investment. What serious is my investment in John? Okay, what it is is a reward for a job well done. It's insurance for the future, you know. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't you buy a matching ring and he'll wear it through his nose? Dakota, you know, you're not being a tremendous help at all. Why don't you go to the other side of the store and find something for Melinda? <clears throat> I'm gonna go find John. By the way, you said you never get to see your grandson much. How would you like to babysit him this afternoon? Why don't you try Maze? Okay. I'll see you later. Lizzie, don't forget the three things. Right. Okay? She's a very sweet girl, but her priorities are a little skewed. Fifty-five dollars. Whereas you know exactly what's worth going for, right? By the way, you didn't tell me how your little maternity gig turned out last night. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. I know. It didn't go well, did it? I, I didn't see you in, in diapers and aprons anyway. Dakota, it was the worst evening of my life. If I'm going to land Roger, I have to try something completely new. Excuse me. I, uh, I've been waiting 15 minutes. I assume the commissioner is running behind schedule. I really can't speak for her. It... Commissioner Hall's office. Yes. Certainly. Uh, uh, Mr. Finelli, the commissioner's terribly sorry. She's been held up in a meeting at City Hall. Uh, can we reschedule your appointment? Wait, 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 wait. She's not in her office? Next Friday, perhaps? Yeah. No, 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 forget it. Forget it. You bump me once, you bump me again. Let me remind you, District Attorney Ryan made this appointment. I'll wait. Those meetings are very unpredictable. The commissioner could be gone for hours. I certainly hope not. Commissioner Hall's office. Yes. Honey, I'm back. Jillian! Jillian, where are you? I'm in bed. I'm not moving. I got the pregnancy test. You're never going to get Roger with that attitude. It sounds like Delia against motherhood, baseball, and apple pie. Apple pie has too many calories, baseball is too boring, and motherhood is fine if you don't mind ruining silk dresses and intimate dinners for two. Uh-oh. So, so what did Oni do? Oni well, wouldn't stop screaming. I was like a blithering idiot in front of Roger. You know, I think Lizzie was just and just rotten. So, uh, Roger didn't propose, did he? Oh, yes. He just swept me in his arms and I had all this... Carrot and mush all over me. What do you think? I think that would spoil the mood a little bit. Laugh. Go ahead, laugh. It did, believe me. Well, cheer up. You know something? Maybe Roger doesn't even want to see you in that role. Well, he doesn't. I think he thinks he's perfectly capable of having that role himself. And then when he finally paid attention to us, he rocked the kid to sleep in two seconds. Really? Gee, I would think that's reason alone enough for Maggie to take the man back. What's the joke about this? He said he wants 
seven kids. Seven. How am I going to distract them? How? Don't look at me. I'll do what I always do. Oh, great. We're going to get another song and dance here? I'll accentuate the positive. I'll emphasize the aspects that you attracted to me in the beginning. Hell, you believe me, if you have necklines that plunge any lower, Roger will have full view of your assets. You know, it's my intellect he likes. It's my uh, certain sense of glamour, my passport to new world. Stop. I saw that TV show, right? And you want to take Roger where no man has gone before, right? Oh, no, I just think he should have some fun. He's cooped up in the hospital all the time. Okay, the first exciting thing is the gallery opening. Okay, the art is in place. The champagne just has to be on ice, and I'll call Stanislaw well and get all his arty people. Stop, stop. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I don't think anybody would want to see any more of your kinky performance pieces. Oh, you don't? Well, this performance is just going to be me and Roger. See, I can see it now. The limo pulls up to the curb. The crowd is waiting with bated breath, and Roger and I descend into a, a mass of flaring paparazzi light bulbs. But you don't have a limo. We'll rent one. I think glamour is the key. Because I know I don't want to have another baby. I hope we're pregnant. 49 more minutes and we'll know. Does it look to you like, like the color's changed? Nope. Looks to me like the color's changed. How could it possibly change? It's only been ten minutes. Oh. I'm telling you, the color's changed in there. You are imagining things. Will you go watch TV? Look, why don't we just... We'll check the color against this color code in the back here. Look, look. It has changed. Look at this. Will you let it rest? A watch pot never boils. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Your color's changed. Hmm? My color? Your face. What? Green. <laughs> well, I'm feeling a lot better. R really? It's green? Maybe I'll go lie down. Maybe we should play cards. No, we're not going to play cards. I'll get you some crackers. Oh, That's please. what I'll get you. No, I'm no. serious. I'll... Get the phone. All right, I'll get the phone. Yeah, oh, must be pregnant. Hello. Hello. Frank, Jack. I'm in Emily Hall's office. Jack, the listen. lady I... stood me up. I need another favor. Jack, Call please. Call the mayor's office. Have them bump her from that meeting and get her up here, okay? Jack, listen, I can't, I can't do anything right now. I'm right in the middle of something very important. Don't you understand that? Frank, make the phone call and then get back to whatever's important. Okay. All right, Jack. Fine. I'll do it. Okay? Goodbye. <sighs> we got anything yet? Nope. Huh? Weren't you supposed to go to bed? Weren't you supposed to do something for Jack? What was it? Yeah, right. That's right. You know, I hope we mix this thing right. I mean, there's no telling what kind of chemicals are in there. <laughs>